Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Scrappy Saturday. Welcome to Scrappy Saturday. I have been working on my 12 by 12 paper pads and um, getting them organized, getting them ready to de-stash and that sort of thing. And I came across tons of scraps that were in the paper pads, that sort of thing. So I cleaned all that out and I have all these rectangular pieces that I need to do something with. So we're going to see how much we can get done in an hour in terms of having things ready. I'm not going to decorate. I'm just going to make bases, make bases, and hopefully get through a lot. First, let's say hi and hugs to Penny Lane Journals, Shabby Rose Creations by Kem McCoy, Rowena, and See Clearly. Thank you for your for watching and for your nice comments and yeah so we've done this before so i don't blame you if you go do something else but <laughs> but i i just i just need to get to work here so we're gonna do this i've got my idea book handy in case i need that and um yeah we've got some gorgeous papers to work with so um these all are from a wonderful um, Graphic 45 paper pad. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my scraps over to the side so that we have room to work here. I'm actually going to set them on this table to my left. And then um, I'll just grab a bunch and like these are all the same size. And so what I'm thinking of doing is making one of these, um, one of these great pockets. So, um, let's see, how big do we want the pocket? Probably don't want it much more than seven. Yeah, I think seven would be good. So I've got my cutter at the ready. Let's pop these all to seven inches. Yeah, this is going to be good. Seven inches. And seven inches. Okay, that's all we need to do there. Now I'm going to set my cutter aside and we are going to go one by one. I need my corner rounder. I guess this is a mass making of sorts in that, um, ooh, how wide is that? That's too wide, Gail. That's six and that needs to be five at the most, even four and a half. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with five. Okay. So I'm not done with this. So five inches. I wonder if I can do them both at the same time. I'm going to cut off that side. Okay. We've got some decorative strips. I'll throw those, we'll have more. I'll throw those up there. Gosh, I'm all fumbly fingers because I really want to get a whole bunch done. And so, I'm trying to hurry, but haste makes waste. So I just need to calm down and enjoy the process. <laughs> oh my goodness. So hope you're all having a great Saturday and doing something fun, crafting if that's if that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. So, okay, these are going to be these fun torn pockets. And I feel like since they're flowers, they will go with just everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... These aren't quite big enough to do what I did there, but I can, I th think I can kind of fake it. 
let's go corner to corner. I like this. Okay, and so that's going to go there. This one will turn over and have it go here. Now, do we do we not like how that is? You know, we've got that little area. Do we not like that? I'm thinking about what I could put on it. I'm thinking, do I want to just go like this? But then that doesn't have the contrast. What if we do this? What if we go... Like that? No, don't like it. Hmm. Okay, so I might not have had enough to do this. <laughs> you might need more of a paper pad. Okay, well, oh, here's what we'll do. Hello. Whoever was shouting that, thank you. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have one here and one here. Now, I'm going to try not to do too much inking, but where there are pockets involved, I'm going to ink the pocket before I glue it down. I'll be inking around this whole thing, but I'll do it off camera. So then my thought is, if I can, I'd like to get these all um, distressed and sewn around off camera, and then we can um, decorate them or something in another video tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Okay, yes, here's the ticket. We'll just redo this since we didn't have quite enough and I did not like how that looked. So we'll just crisscross them. That works. I, and I wanted these to be big enough to um, cover a page, you know. any sort of blank page that we might have. Okay, there's one. Oh, man, that was tough, wasn't it? Okay, so this one, I'm gonna get both pieces ready and then I'll, I'll ink them and glue them at the same time, okay? I think that goes this way. works out great because if you tear it this way then this white part is then on this side oh isn't that one pretty okay very cool oh and I, <laughs> I have one um, corner rounded there I need to do that on all of these Okay, so this one. Okay, so variation. Just a little variation. Oh, geez, that was kind of funny. It's like, there's gotta be a way for this to work. There it is, there's the way finally got a new sponge on my on my uh, inker so that was good I struggled there for a few days before I finally remembered to do it and for the many I get asked all the time I get asked all the time where I got this handle it is from Shell and Clint at the Rambling Crafter if they don't have it up as a item then just go ahead and message them and say that Gail told me you'd make me a handle. <laughs> and they'll do it for you. At least uh, Shell hasn't gotten a hold of me and said, enough already, don't send anybody else. 
until they do. I'll keep sending people. So, okay, so there's those. So those we can then glue up like the other one and yay. So just like yesterday's video with the collaging on the paper roll, it's just nice to take these scraps that are just sitting in your whatever receptacle you have your scraps living in and make them into something useful that can go in your books. Love it. Okay. There's that one. Ooh, love it. Love it. Love those papers. They're real pretty papers. Yeah, so I've been going through and de-stashing, and if I don't think I'm going to use the paper, I'm going to put it on my Etsy. So I'm just waiting at this point to figure out packaging for a 12 by 12. <laughs> so I have some paper pads that I'm, I'm going to de-stash and stuff, but i got to figure out how to mail them to you. So... I'm still working on that a little bit. Actually, that's where I got stuck, but um, I haven't. I need to like order some envelopes on Amazon or something. Okay, we have three pockets done. Yay us. Okay, so I'd like to see if there's any others that are similar size that we could do that with. Okay, so these are all strips that are similar in size-ish. Okay, that one's bigger, that one's bigger. I mean, we could. We could do that one, this one that way. You know, I'm just trying to kind of get them in similar sizes here. So all those are all those are smaller. Let's put those on top. These are not wide enough. Smaller. 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 But this Tim Holtz one too. Let's see. Okay, all those can go back there. This here smaller. This one. Ooh, maybe. Maybe that one as well. Smaller. And this Timmy one. You know, I'm all for, you know, making as many as possible of these things that we figure out. Just looking to see what we've got here, all small. It's fairly small. These are larger. We've got a small there. This one's a possibility. Okay, and then these are smaller. Actually, that one's a possibility as well. Okay, why not go for it, Gail? So what do I have? I have quite a few. I'm gonna end up making a lot of strips is the only trouble. Okay, whoops. That was a small one that escaped. Okay, I don't know, because that one for sure I'll do. This one I'll do. This is a funky one, but I'll do that one. And these, I think I'll do something else with. Okay, got a few more. Three more, maybe four more here that we're going to do in the same manner. Okay, so... 
seven inches, first of all. We have to decide what do we want on the top. We have that on the top. Yeah. Let's see. Let's cut this to, what do we do, five? And then I have a big old long strip. Okay, seven. Okay, this is going to be the top, so I'm going to go seven. This is super thick paper, this one. Oh, there's just three. Okay. And seven. Okay. Super quick. Once again, we're going to assembly line this. Um, oh, I didn't do these in five necessarily, did I? Were you telling me? I bet you were. Yep. Looked a little chunky to me. Whoops. So I'm going to put that this way and that this way and cut here at five. Ooh, that's thick for two. I'm just going to toss those two strips. They're itsy bitsy. And this one we did at five already. Yes. Okie dokie. Okay, we are going to round the corners of the top one. I don't know, guys. I seriously might have to put some of my ephemera in my Etsy too because my box is so big. I love making it so much too. So there there may be there may be a few bits every now and again. I don't know if I'll regularly put them in, you know, but I think I think I'd like to clear out my box a little bit. Okay, that was torn funkily, if that's a word. That's upside down, but uh, that's okay. Better that one than the other one. Okay, that wasn't a great tear. I'm just going to say this one's going to be really hard to tear. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Nope. Oh, both the white sides. Okay. But that's how I want it. So we'll just ink those and that'll be actually it looks kind of cool, I think. Okay. This goes here, this here, and Tear down the more in the middle this time, Gail. Not so crazy like you did that first one. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's ink. Rid of my punchy. Ink and glue, and then we're we're set until inking and sewing around. I didn't sew around the one in my book, so I guess I can make that determination too, right? Okay, there's that one. This one should turn out kind of neat on the white. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. So you might want to tear it so the white does show. Mike and I had our little pep step at lunchtime. It's like 43, 5, 45 degrees. I had to wear a light coat instead of my winter coat. It was amazing. So, yeah, very, 
very fun. Just saw one lady and her doggy, and then a gentleman that walked by us. So that was good. Had our little pep step. Okay, I like it. Let's go for the glue in here. So fast, these little pockets. What would we do without the Tim Holtz paper? You know, I don't use it all the time, but boy, I do enjoy it. It is just, it's just so good. Okay, isn't that cute? And it will become apparent that there's a pocket here too when you put something in there. Okay, we're gonna be to six pockets here in a second. And then I think we'll manage those rather, I mean, they're, wide, they're strips, but they're wider strips because I think I have an idea for those that I think could be cute. That's not straight. I want this side to be straight because this side's going to be covered up anyway. I probably cut it a little crooked. I know, amazing that I could make such a mistake. Yeah, make them all the time. <laughs> okay, that one's cool. I think that was the 49 and Market Remnants paper. I think that's what that one was. It is very thick. Okay. That one. Whoa. Steady as she goes, Gail. Okay, and that one. There we go. Okay, and they'll look even better when they're um, distressed all around, at least in my opinion. Okie dokie. So now we have six of those big pockets. Awesome. These, what I was thinking is, could I make a little tag? Okay, so what if, let's use this one as an example. What if I went ahead and did a six inch tag? And how big is this that's left? Six inches, ha, go figure, 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so what if I did this in half? Okay, bear with me as I show you what I'm thinking. Nope, they're this way. So, what if I put, okay. I need my smaller hole punch. Right, it's right within grasp. Okay. And what if I put these on this tag like that? Made a little double pocket tag with those. Okay, I like it. So I'm gonna mass produce these now. <laughs> okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna go six and we wanna go three. I don't know if you can see me or not. I did go out because we're not doing anything delicate. Oh. I'll punch them all at the same time too. That was our prototype. Okay. Six. 
I want to want to turn this one this way so I don't mess up. Okay, that's how that's going to go. Okay, then this one in three. And flip one over. Let's see, and what do I like for the top? That, I think. Okay. This is not 12 inches, so we'll save that for later. This one we could do. Six and three. And go like that. Want that as the top. Want that as the top. I think we want that as the top. Okay. So these will be for something else. These, um, yep, those are 12. So let's do these. They're a little bit wider, but that's okay. No big deal. Just going to do double pocket tags with all of them. Okay that will be like that Ooh, this is pretty and three don't think of other things Gail because then you get yourself mixed up okay this is a smaller one this one will be pretty too is called rectangle scrap mass making that's what this is called this was the paper pad that I did um, a series of videos trying to use up the whole paper pad I did pretty well these are, these are the few things that were left just made all different kinds of ephemera that was a fun so I suppose if you um, if you want to check out that series probably if you um, search Gail Augustinelli 12 by 12 paper pad maybe it should come up Pretty much anything you want to, to see me do will come up like that. Okay, so now I'm into repeat patterns except for this one. So I think I might save those for something else. I don't know what. I have. Oh, I do have an idea. Okay. It is so funny as you work with these scraps how it's like, oh, this could be this or this could be that. Okay, there's that one. So these I'm gonna save. Oh, here's a bunny one and here's this one. These two we haven't done yet, but these three we'll save for something else. Sure, why not? Let's just use them. Don't overthink it, Gail. Just cut and go and make something that you can use. Gosh, my fingernails, you guys, I need to start taking biotin again. This one is like, it's down below the quick. So, it was even breaking with fingernail polish on it. So, I don't know. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, there's one of these we could do. And one of these we could do. These are blue fern paper. This one I think is like maybe Glory of the Garden. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Oh, yeah, that's going to be super pretty. And then this one is the, um, I can't remember the name of this one. I'm sorry. I just made something with it. Um, anyway, 
Blue Fern Studio. So let me turn that one like that. Do that like that. That's going to be super pretty. Okay, there's a ton of these. This is awesome. Okay, next is punching. This one's punched, so we'll leave it aside. And I'm going to do them both at once so they're at the same spot. And we're just going to buzz through these this way. I was afraid when I cut this fingernail that I didn't get the whole way that it was torn and apparently I did not because okay my bunnies are sideways but it's just the way the card is so that's okay okay Pop out of the um, out of the punch and smack me in the face. So I'm trying to point it away. Okay, now we're cooking. When I do the mass making stuff, it reminds me of when I was working and because I was a fundraiser, I did the fundraising. For the annual fund anyway a lot of mailings a lot of mailings and we did have student helpers but they weren't always there when we needed them you know because they had classes and so we sometimes would have to do the um, mass mailings ourselves and I don't know. I was pretty darn, per, got pretty darn quick at stuffing a envelope and okay, this one. These are kind of tall and skinny. Let me just make sure I have. Yep. one so yeah just the same repetitive motion and then you get I mean you get it done in a hurry okay now we'll ink the top of the of the pockets but that's all we'll ink and then I'm thinking I probably want to sew around these because it would just give them more texture. And so I'm thinking I might just put dots of glue on there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking this top pocket, I need to do the bottom here. So... So yeah, it was so great. We, um, I've never told you this, I don't think. We had in my office, so not at first when I first started working there, but you know, over the years, things change and you re redo and whatever. Um, we moved into our, our office, our department moved into the old convent. And so, um, on the downstairs level, there was a big, like, living room with a fireplace. And um, we used, we, we used that. I mean, we had it, we had couches and love seats and chairs. And then at the other end, we had a table and chairs. So we used it for a meeting room. We had receptions in there. It was awesome. And then there was one small room. Well, two small rooms on either side of the hallway as you came in the front door. And those were um, 
the assistants and then the vice president's office, one on either side. And then there was one other office um, that, you know, whoever had that office. And then the kitchen and dining room. And so we um, had a table in the middle of the kitchen because the cupboards just went around the walls and the fridge and everything. And then um, where the dining room was, we had another table and chairs. So like for staff meetings, we just put the two tables together and have our staff meetings. And um, it was awesome because there was a kitchen right there. So it was like for small gatherings, it was like the perfect spot. And our copy machine was in, um, was in the dining room and there was a desk in the corner with a computer that was for the work study students, the students, you know, that worked in our office. Um, and then there was a back porch. The back porch um, also had the stairs down to the basement. Well, oh, and then there was a bathroom, one bathroom for the whole building. There was one bathroom <laughs> and it was on the lower floor. So, um, what, and then upstairs, there was a whole bunch of offices, which were originally the nuns, um, the nuns bedrooms. So, uh, they weren't very big. There were two on the end that were you know in each corner of and off the hallway across from each other those two were pretty good sized uh one of those eventually ended up being mine and um so yeah all bedrooms up there one bathroom on the main floor <laughs> and then the basement um was Oh, there was a big storage closet, and then there was kind of like an entryway where I had a couch, and then it went into the phoning room where um, the students that worked for my department would call um, call alumni and ask them to give and and or thank them or whatever it was we were calling about memberships, whatever. So, um, those were, that's what was downstairs. So, of course, you know, if you were in the phonathon room or in your office and you had to use the facilities, you had to go downstairs. So, there was a lot of stair climbing in that office, but it was so great. I don't even know why I started this. I, I can't remember why I started telling you about this, but, um, Oh, and off of the dining room, there was a deck. And so we had um, a nice table with umbrella and chairs out there. So in the summertime, we would, or, you know, nice weather of any kind, we would have meetings out there. Sometimes people would just take their work out there and sit outside and work. And yeah, it was great. It was a great building. And um was it was built right when the college was built. I think it was the second building. The first building was the big, um, well, in my day it was a dorm, but it had, it had dorm classrooms and everything. It was the only building at first. And then the nuns from Germany came and they built, um, this one needs black, so I'm gonna set it aside. This one probably could use, well, no, it'll be fine. Um, anyway, they came from Germany and they were the cooks. And so there's actually a tunnel from that building to um, the dorm that they used in the inclement weather to take the food over to the men, because at first it was a, a man's school. Okay. Um, let me just set the ink aside. I'm thinking as far as gluing, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue across the bottom of this one and then just put a few dots on this one. So let me see how I'm doing time-wise. Oh my gosh, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Let me just straighten you out here a little bit, 20 minutes. Okay, 
5, 10, 15. Okay. Darn. I guess I'm making a lot of pieces, <laughs> so I shouldn't complain, but I just, I just want to make more, more, more. Might need, might need more days of this rectangle using up thing. So I've just, I've just glued across the bottom on that one. This one, I'm just going to put dots in the four corners because I'm going to sew these. I'm going to have, I'm going to have a bit of sewing to do, aren't I? So I'm not sure that we'll decorate these in the next, um, in the next video or anything. Now you could cut that as a tag. So we'll think about that after, but let's do all the gluing. And so we can see what these are gonna look like. Yep, that's good. This one on the bottom. And put that right there. And then this one, we'll have it in the four corners. Just a dot. Yeah, these are fun. So you could put these on the page as either a, you know, glue two sides and have it be a tuck, like glue the two sides and have it be a tuck, or I'm just going to eyeball that one because I forgot to look. Um, or a tag to stick in a pocket or whatever. Oops. Get too, get too crazy. Don't they look so good, though, distressed? I do think so. I do, I do. So anyway, many, many pleasant memories there. Because I think we were in that building, oh, geez, probably the last, I don't know, 15 years that I worked there. Maybe, maybe a few more. We were in the administration building before that, but, um, whoa, <laughs> excuse me. But yeah, it came, it came available. The way it came available is we built a student center. And when we, and um, the last use of this little convent had been as a uh, student space for them to hang out. There was where the full, uh, where the phonathon room was, there was a pool table there um, when it was the student center. And it was fun because the alumni would come back and we'd have receptions there and they'd be like, oh my gosh, some of my best times were in this building, you know, and it's kind of fun. But yeah, these are great. I love these. I do think I'm going to make them into um, a tag shape though. Either round them or make them a tag shape, one or the other. Um. But yeah, was was good, was good. But I'm glad to be doing this now, shall we just say. It was lots of fun, but you know, the seasons of your life, it's kind of is, isn't it? The working season and then the retirement season. I have to say I have felt lucky through what we've been through the last year or so to be able to just be in my home and being able to do work that I love, which is this. Yeah, these are going to be fun. Just fun to have on hand. And I don't know. I do think I will go ahead and, I mean, you could wait and decorate them as you go. Like as you have a, 
um, a journal that they you'd like to use them in, but I think, oops, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get them, get them decorated up so they're just ready to grab when I do my little search through my basket for a journal. Okay, moving right along. Have my tag punch and everything. I don't know, I, I feel like I'd like to do a couple more videos of this because I really need to use up these, um, these scraps because they're taking up too much room in my spot. Everything's getting kind of smooshed. So, I don't know, we just might. It's kind of like while you have that particular mess out, <laughs> you'd kind of like to keep going. Yeah, it was so crazy today. I had to wear light gloves. I just wore an ear warmer and then my lighter jacket. But, I mean, it is March, so it makes sense that we should be getting warmer, right? Holy buckets, there were a lot of these. But there were a lot of these size scraps, so we did make a dent. We did make a dent, I feel like. They're at all different levels, but that's okay too. I'm gonna put this one down a bit under that flower. Kind of let the let the pattern dictate where I put this. to wipe off my glue once we're done gluing these because I have a glue goober at the top from having it open so long. Okay. Yeah, I'd like that under that flower. Almost there, guys. Almost there. <laughs> so one time, talking about the deck at work, one time I had to call security because there were some kids, they weren't my phone -a kids, they were other kids that were smoking pot on the deck. <laughs> So I had to call the police. I, ca I think I just called the campus police, but I figured they could call the regular police if need be. But I mean, we're down in the phonathon room and the windows are open. And I'm, I said to the kids, are you smelling what I'm smelling? <laughs> They're like, yep, Gail, you're smelling right. Oh gosh. College kids, such a great age. Pot smoking aside, it is a great age. Okay. So, the only one we didn't do is this one. And I am going to... I can grab my black soot real quickly. So, I am going to go ahead... Yeah, you just almost have to use the darker ink on this paper. So, yeah, if you want to know the name of this paper, go over to my Blue Fern um, uh, playlist and it'll be there. I just, it's escaping me right at the moment. So now like this one, I might not sew around because 
or I might not clip off because I would lose so much of that flower. So I might have to just, and if that's the case, I'll have to go back in and put a little more glue. So, Gail, yeah, do this. Wait, first do this. Because if you're not going to sew it, something has to hold the pockets there. Okay. And this one will go around the edge. Okay. Okay, crazy gal. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's pretty. So this one is just definitely going to be a corner rounder one because I think if I round the corners the flower will yeah 90% of it's still there let's go ahead and ink that and we'll have one completely done <laughs> of this batch of stuff yeah now I think this particular one I would go ahead and make a floating pocket because look, you can write on the back or floating tag, whatever. I'd put it in a in another pocket so that it could be used for journaling. Okay, yay. Well, that one's done so you can at least see what I was thinking. Um, how much time do we have? Oh, we have a little bit of time. So how many of these do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of these. Yes. So good. So good. Okay, these, all of these. I am going to cut one and then cut them all because I do think I want them to look like more like a tag and if I cut one then it makes it super easy to cut them all and then they just need to be inked and sewn So, then the other crazy experience I had, college kid wise, when I was, well, I was, I um, I had hired a gal. It wasn't the gal that took my place, but the gal before her, um, to run the phonathon, an actual employee, not a student, and. I got to work one morning and she said, so-and-so came to work drunk. I was like, oh, great. And she said, well, <laughs> she said, um, he actually threw up in one of the office trash cans. Well, of course, that was somebody's office. Actually, I do. I think it was the work study's office. But anyways, nevertheless, somebody be working in there. And I said, well, did you clean it up? And she said, no, I didn't clean it up. This gal, single, never a mom, you know. So I said, I said, okay, well, I wish you would have called me last night so it wasn't sneaking up the whole office. But um, so anyway, that was my first thing in the morning that day. I had to clean up somebody's, <laughs> somebody's partying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, needless to say, that kid had a big talking to in my office and was really upset because he really needed the job. And I said, well, you know, when you really need a job, it's best not to do something stupid <laughs> and risk your job. And he's like, I know. Um, so anyway... I said, well, you know, I'll give you another chance, but anything even remotely like this or anything else happens and you're, and you're out of a job. Oh, boy. 
Yeah. It's a lot easier when my only employee is, is my husband putting together things for Etsy or whatever. <laughs> Makes life a little easier. Oh my gosh. Craziness. It was entertaining though. Those kids, they were entertaining. Okay. Um, my thought is I'm going to get this one done. And this, oh, this is so, yeah. And this is going to miss a little bit of the yellow flower, but not a ton. So, and not the part where it's pink in the middle or anything. Okay. So all those need to be sewn. So we'll put those with these. And like I say, Gail's going to be using the sewing machine. This one is done. Okay, so now what I'm thinking we can do for just a couple minutes is try and sort these into, you know, what could we do with these kind of, kind of piles. So, yeah, because I have about four minutes. Okay, so all these I'm thinking tags of some sort. I don't really know yet what these I'm thinking maybe this six by six um, things that and the, this one actually could be too oh that is a six by six this one is not um, maybe some of the six by six things that are in my idea book um, oops I just dumped everything okay um, this one I think would be just a gorgeous journal card all on its own. And yeah, it's only about four and a half. So, so I've got a tag pile. I'm going to make a journal card pile. Um, okay. Let's see what else we have here. Um, these... That could be like a double journal card. Just fold it in half, right? Or a tablet holder thing. But I think I'm going to go journal card on these. I think I might go journal card on this one. Fold it in half. I don't know. But small tags. Small tags. That's going in the tag. Pile. And this could be two nice size tags. This one would be a cute journal card. This could just this could just be a skinny little tag. All these papers, I don't know what to do with those. This is just cardstock. So it was in the wrong in the wrong bucket. I'll refile that. Here's some more six by sixes. Um, these papers, I'm just gonna fold these and maybe punch the edge or something, and those can go in a pocket. This one tag, this one tag, this one tag. I'm thinking about cutting that down and having pockets on that one. I'm going to put that aside. This could be a journal card. This could be a journal card. This. I don't know. It could be a tag, maybe. And again, these strips. I don't know what to do with the strips. Where did I put that strip that I didn't know what to do with? I don't know. Anyway, here's a tag. Here's a tag. That has to go this way, so I'm not quite sure. These could be little tags. These little vellum pieces, I don't know. 
that is just a piece for a cluster or something. That's not filed correctly either. Hmm. Oh, here's a bunch more of those kind of papers. Strip, putting that in the strips. That could be a tag or something. This could be a tag, perfect size. Journal card, journal card. Another one of those. This could be a small tag. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And these big ones, this one I, look, I have it. Oh, it's in thirds. So this is a journal card with pocket. I think I scored it wrong or something. Small tag. Okay, and then these look like they're going to be the same size. Tag. 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 <laughs> Tag. I don't know what I did with these papers, but obviously, oh, I do know. These were the ones I cut um, for my Reader's Digest books. Okay, this will be a flip down. Oh, th there's those papers that are like those other papers. Stick that in there. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This will be a flip down. Maybe that too. Um, I don't know. This could be a tag or something. That could be a tag or something. And then we've got bigger pieces here at the back. Except for this little tiny thing and this piece. Okay, I think we're sorted to where I can kind of manage to move ahead. This tag, 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 tag. Okay, so... We are ready for the next one. I am going to do this tomorrow too, guys. So just FYI, I have lots of old videos to watch if you don't want to watch me do this. <laughs> but I think it'll be good to, to get this pared down a bit. And then I can sew them all at once and all of that. So thanks so much for being with me. I'm sorry I went over a little bit today. But have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.